So KD and Kyrie decide to stay in Brooklyn. It's cool. All right. What's up, P Nation? Welcome back to King Me Sports, your number one spot for all your NBA news and content with a focus on, of course, Heat Nation, man. You already know what it is. And if you have not subscribed, make sure you go down there and hit that subscribe button and violate that like button so we can set the YouTube algorithm on fire. And let's get to the content. Listen, man, so after all that drama, trade rumors, speculations, and all, the Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving show has reached a conclusion. They decided to remain with the Brooklyn Nets. Okay. Now, we all know what kind of spectacle this caused for the league. KD was rumored to have Miami and the Phoenix Suns on the top of his list, but eventually he sat down with the Nets organization and decided to work things out. Here's a statement from Nets general manager, Sean Marks. Steve Nash and I, together with Joe Tsai and Clara Wu Tsai, met with Kevin Durant and Rich Kleiman in Los Angeles yesterday, and we have agreed to move forward with our partnership. We are focusing on basketball with one collective goal in mind build a lasting franchise to bring a championship to brooklyn <coughs> well, <shit. coughs> you gotta get past the heat first <coughs> <coughs> now listen don't get me wrong but i really don't care <coughs> I don't. I mean, the Nets are in the Eastern Conference. So to me, they the ops, bruh. But I gotta say this. I gotta say this. I really don't truly believe this is the result that Kyrie and KD were looking for. Now, let me explain. Let me explain. I gotta start by saying, I ain't got no sources. I ain't got no inside scoop here. This is all my opinion. And my opinion is that it wasn't the result that KD was looking for. And I truly believe that KD wanted to leave the Brooklyn Nets. But there was a reality to that that KD just couldn't control. And that reality is, you too expensive, bruh. Let's be real here. The Nets engaged in conversations with many teams, and I'm sure they've made demands. I'm sure they thought about what they wanted a package to look like. But trading KD ain't an easy task, bruh. Let's put it like this. Would you give up your house for a Lambo with a four-year lease? Probably not. And if you would, I'm gonna need you to go to bed right now. Stupid. Look, in reality, it's just that the trade market wasn't that great for players like Kyrie and KD. And to move KD after falling short in the playoffs with four years left on his contract is quite expensive and teams just weren't willing to blow up the entire team for it. In reality, Brooklyn is and still remains the best option for KD. The question is, does that make the Brooklyn Nets a scary opponent for teams in the East? Well, the gamble and the wild card for this equation is none other than, you guessed it, Ben Simmons. And if I had to sit here and tell you with a straight face that I was afraid of what Ben Simmons was gonna bring to the Brooklyn Nets versus teams in the East, I'd be lying to you. I just don't see it. But I've always been the one to say that Ben Simmons is still an elite player in my eyes. He's in the league for a reason. But when you start to gauge whether a team is gonna be a threat or not, you gotta look at it like this. KD and Kyrie are already a problem for any team to deal with. But let's say Ben Simmons somehow found a jump shot somewhere and started actually hooping. That would instantly make the Nets favorites in the East, especially with the return of Joe Harris and Seth Curry on that roster. They definitely shouldn't be taken lightly. I know that. But y'all know I'm a Miami Heat guy, and I felt that the team we had last year was solid. So while Brooklyn may pose a threat, my confidence is always going to be sky high, man, because we don't see them boys we ready for it now i don't know how the issues with coaching that they previously have is gonna impact what's going on there who's to say that everybody's heart is really gonna be into this team like who knows we can only speculate from here but listen i ain't scared of the brooklyn nets that's what i'm saying are they gonna be a good team Possibly, but the X factor still remains Ben Simmons. And Ben Simmons has shown us before that he's just too unpredictable. We don't know what kind of Ben Simmons we're gonna see in the upcoming season. But that's what the Brooklyn Nets really have to gamble with. So um, I'd lie to you if I was saying good luck to the Brooklyn Nets, cause nah. <laughs> The heat gonna take it all away, man. But listen, that's my opinion. I wanna hear from y'all. Let me know how you feel in the comment section about the Brooklyn Nets. Do you think the Brooklyn Nets is gonna pose a serious threat in the East? Who's gonna be the toughest team for Brooklyn to get by? Do you think that people should be making the Brooklyn Nets favorites? Do you think Ben Simmons will come back with a jump shot? Let me know in the comment section. Until next time, it's your boy Goods, King Me Sports. You know the vibes. Listen, if you like this hoodie and you like hoodies like these, 
and t-shirts and all that stuff make sure you check out the royalty brand at royaltybranded.net the link will be in the description for those of you that want to just take the easy way and click on it without writing it out i got y'all make sure you check it out that's your way of supporting the channel or you can hit that super thing to support the channel or if you strapped right now and you can't really spin no dough right now just subscribe hit like or share this video man to help your boy out you know the vibes